What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, this is the Madison Lee Cup, and this is actually round number one. And on left, we have Ryan uh, playing. Looks like a Umbreon Vileplume Evolutions type deck. We do see a Vaporeon with the Umbreon the active and a Gloom on the bench. And on the right, we have Keith Williams playing a Volcania deck. Now, this was the round number one. They were getting stuff set up. This is actually recorded by TNLG or the Next Level Games. They provided their own stream. And uh, like always, I'll leave a link down below to the store that hosted it, and that is Next Level Games. Make sure you check it out. Check out their product online as well. Fantastic people. Rick Mitchell is an amazing person and uh, has done really, really well with his new shop. So, uh, like I said, this is, I don't know which, this is round number one, but I don't know if this is game number one, game number two, there's, looks like six to six prize cards right now, uh, Ryan does have an Umbreon on the active, I don't know anything else outside of that, literally, this is where the video begins, is right here, I can't get any closer to the start than this, so we're gonna press play, and we're gonna find out what's gonna happen to me, Ryan already has a Vaporeon and a Gloom, it looks like it is Key's turn, he does have his hand down, looks like he fits an attach, so I'm gonna click play, and here we go guys, so it looks like Keith is uh, about to do something, I'm not sure what's going on, uh, they're getting dice out right now currently, okay, and no, okay, so <clears throat> Ryan just attacked with his Ironbound, doing 90 to the active and 30 to the bench, now on a key's turn, looks like he topped like a Lysander. Uh, so Ryan did not find a Vileplume. Uh, there's a Starry coming down for Keith. He's got a Fire Energy. He can attach it to the Bench Volcanian. Use the Escape Rope to get the uh, to get the baby baby Volcanian up. And let's see where does but so nope. Uh, gonna score short discard a Fire Energy. Draw two new cards. We see an Ultra Ball. Gonna discard a Star You and maybe the Lysander. Okay, nope. A Via Seeker. Okay. Maybe it's, it's got to be close to Keith's, like, opening turns. So we see a, a Volcanian coming down. All right. Uh, not going to put it down straight away. He does have an N in his discard pile. Uh, so we know at least it's been one turn. And let's see what he decides to get with this N. Um, I know what the end with the Ultra Ball. Sorry. So we see Ultra Ball for a Volcanian X. All righty. And uh, Keith does have a, a escape rope at hand, so he could escape rope, send in his baby Volcanian, and or no, send a Volcanian next for sure, and um, just because that's for your treat. So we'll see a switch. Actually, Keith's going to send the star you. Very interesting, okay. Um, and we will see a shaman for five new cards. You would think Keith was sending the like the Volcanian X. He's got a floatstone with the free retreat. Uh, he can retreat the Volcanian out of the Axe spot and be good to go. But we see Keith, it looks like he's on a license of the Vaporeon. And will she a Shaman for six new cards? All right. And you do see how both uh, both these players' Pokemon are up on the active, or not the active, on the screen to help us see it better, which is am amazing. So we see a Max looks there. Going to look at the top scarves of his stack. Going to find a Fire Energy for that Bench Volcanian. And if Keith can find a way to retreat this active, he can actually uh, Volcanic Heat for the knockout. So fire to the bench, Volcanic next. Oh, Staryu does have free retreats. That's amazing. I just now noticed that as well. Uh, so we'll see Volcanic Heat for the knockout. I guess it really didn't matter. Um, I guess it didn't matter because he played the Max Luxor. So yeah, that was me being silly. I didn't know that Staryu had free retreat, even though we could see it right now. So on to Ryan's turn, going to promote the uh, Shaman. His Vaporeon is knocked out, so he can no longer one-shot this Volcanic next. And we see Ryan contemplating, put a DC on that bench, Vape, uh, Eevee. Uh, yep, going to get decent Eevee. And we'll see a Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Alrighty. So Ryan can... Um, well, the first thing is, does he find a Valbloom? He does have an Ultra Ball, so he can get a Valbloom out this turn. And nope, just going to 90 and knock out the Shame and put 90 damage on the active Volcanian. Going down to four prize cards, Keith does have five uh, prize cards. You can see the price counter at the bottom of the screen, which is fantastic as well. So we see his uh, square strength coming down from Keith. Uh, he does have a fire energy in hand. He could put that on the Volcanian X, but he needs to find a Ranger, uh, another Max Luxor. He needs to find some way to basically regenerate his, uh, uh, I forget what it's called, right? The Volcanian Heat, so he can attack this turn. But we see Max Luxor to the Volcanian X. Keith can just retreat, attach a fire energy, and attack that way in uh, Volcanian Heat, knock out. Well, he doesn't knock out the Volcan the Umbreon EX ju GX just yet, but he does have a Fire Energy and Discard Pile. So what he could do is Steam Up, then Fisherman put the Fire Energies back in his hand, attach one, and Steam Up again to actually knock out this Umbreon GX, which is fantastic. And let's see, does Keith go that route? It seems like his best option uh, to Steam Up, discard a Fire Energy. Oh, no, okay, he's going to Scorched Earth first, okay. 
Uh, he's got a Max Elixir. He can look at top cards of his deck. If he finds a Fire DJ, he can put that in his Volcanian X. And let's see what he decides to do. He's got an Ultra Ball. It looks like he's going to discard. Maybe not. Okay, so Max looks like the top cards of his deck. And he does not find anything with the Max Elixir. But I don't think he can take a knockout now. I think his only out was to do what I said. Um, you Fishman. Uh, you, you Score Shards. Then Fishman for another Score Shards. And Attach Return. And then you can knock out the Umbra. Wait, actually, no. Yeah, it would knock it out because you do... I only do 190 actually, so no, it would not knock it out. So it has 200 HP, so he needs to find a third Volcanian. So is he Ultra Ball, discard a Fishman, and a uh, Volcanian? Okay. And let's see what he gets here. It looks like he's going to get Starmie, which uh, Starmie does allow him to discard any card out of his hand to get a fire, two Fire Energies, or two Energies, which is fantastic. And we'll see a VS Seeker for N. Uh, the N will put Ryan down to four, while uh, Keith does get five new cards. And I think it's skipping right now because of the uh, stream. I'm uh, pretty sure I'm correct. Uh, when I downloaded this, it was off of Twitch. So uh, that's why it's probably lagging just a little bit. Uh, but still, it is viewable. So that's fantastic. So we'll see Keith put down a Volcano next. Max looks like the top cards of his deck. And does he find a Fire Energy? I don't see one right now. And no, he does not find anything with that Max Luxor, but he does have the Space Beacon from Starmie, so he will be able to take a knockout this turn. Uh, wait, no, he you know he needed the Max Luxor. Yeah, he can only do 190 this turn, which is not enough for the knockout. He gets Steam Up, discard a Fire Energy, then he can Space Beacon and get two energies back, but he's still only doing 190, which does not knock out his Umbreon GX. So if you're Keith here, you might go with Volcanion this turn, uh, just Baby Volcanion and just Power Heater for 30. Maybe steam up once or something. You could just get two fire energies back um, if you want to go that route. Uh, so see fire energy on the Volcanian. Okay. Uh, oh, never mind. No, we don't. Never mind. No, we do not. And like I said, he can attach space beacon, get two fire energies back, a double steam up, and then swing. Um, that will at least do three, uh, three, six, seven, eight. Uh, so see baby Volcanian come up. Okay. And does he use Space Beacon this turn? Uh, we see him discard a VS Seeker with Space Beacon, get two Fire Energies back, okay. Uh, we'll probably see double Steam Up, there's one. And is he just going to attach to one? Or, nope, going to use second one as well. He's going to keep it in his hand. Um, okay, so we see 80 damage coming out, put two Fire Energies on his field, and on to Ryan's turn, let's see what happens. We see another Umbreon GX come down, okay. Uh, we see a... Is that a Lily? Uh, the draw to have six cards in your hand. I think that's what it's called. Uh, you draw to have six cards in your hand. If it's in your first turn, you can draw to have eight. And Ryan hasn't found a Vileplume yet, which I think is what he really needs. He needs a Vileplume to shut down his opponent. But right now, he can use Umbreon's GX, put 90 on the 30, and maybe 30 on that Bench Volcano with the 90 damage already, and potentially try to touch, like, knock it out eventually on the Bench. Uh, so we'll see if Flo's still got to the Shaman. No, we don't. Okay. Um, what will Ryan do here with that Flowstone? Will he put it on the, he could put it on the active and just retreat, but then your Umbreon GX could potentially still be knocked out. And we'll see, uh, 90 to the active and 30 to the Shaman EX. Alrighty, and, uh, yep. Let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, Key's gonna draw a card. What does he find here? Uh, he's got a in. Gonna put both players as some new cards. Keith will find five, while Ryan will get four new cards. But with these four new cards, can Ryan find a Valplume? And uh, sorry that the stream is lagging right now, guys. Um, I think it does fix itself later on. I remember talking and uh, talking about how the stream did lag for a second, but then it eventually fixes itself. All right, so uh, we'll see. Keith it looks like he's going to retreat the baby Volcanian to him Volcanian X, and he will Volcanian Heat for the knockout. Going down to two, uh, three prize cards. Okay, we see Trainer's Mill. Look at the top four cards of his deck. And even though, like, Ryan had this Vaporeon, that was good to go. And we see a Rough Seas come down. And wow, that'll make things very interesting. Because with the Rough Seas, uh, Keith can start healing damage off his Volcanian X. Because it is a water type. And that's what we see there. Healing the 30 damage off the Volcanian X. Okay. And we'll see a Volcanian Heat most likely for the knockout. And Keith will go down to three prize cards. And Ryan's going to serve the Shaman. It does have Floodstone, so it does have that free retreat. But Ryan is in trouble right now. Um, if Ryan can swing to his Volcanian, Keith can easily knock this out. He finds three Fire Energies, which is not good at all. I mean, 
Yeah, uh, Ryan's in a tough spot for sure. We're going to see a retreat into the Umbreon GX. And let's see, what does Ryan do here? He can put 90 on the active, 30 to that Shaman. We're going to see Lysander bring up the Starmie, take a double knockout on the uh, Starmie and... Um, the Baby Volcanian, and let's see what Keith has here. Does he have the three fire energies? If he does, he will be able to win the game. Or not win the game, he'll be able to knock out uh, Ryan's only Umbreon. And there's really nothing Ryan could do to win the next turn, uh, or even attack next turn, besides like Sky Return. So see Trainers Mode, look at tough cards of his deck. He does have a VS Seeker, and with the VS Seeker, he can grab a Fisherman, if that is a VS Seeker, like I think it is. And uh, if he has a Fisherman, he can. Guess me, I think there is a Fishman, it's just Garpaw, if I recall. Yeah, I saw it in there. So he can grab a Fia Seeker for a Fishman. And uh, be able to take a knockout this turn, going down to two price or one price card, sorry. So let's see, does he grab the Via Seeker? I mean, there's a Flowstone, Fire Energy, Ranger. Maybe it's not a Via Seeker. Uh, no, it's a Dive Ball, sorry, that's a Dive Ball. I thought it was the Reverse Hollow, like, blue Via Seeker. So, we're going to see a few belts to the Shaman. And we'll see a Volcano Heat. Maybe just Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven to cards. He can put a Flush on the active. Nope, go to Lysander, bring up the Shaman EX, and just Volcano Heat for the knockout, going down to one price card. Um, all right, so right, so we're going to see the Gloom. And whoo, does Ryan have way to knock out the Shaman? 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, nope, that would not knock it out with a Umbreon. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Forest, a Giant Plants, and a Gloom. And, uh, since Ryan just, like, Ultra Ball didn't find a Vileplume, I imagine that his Vileplumes are prized, or they're in the discard pile. I'm not 100% sure, like I said. But Ryan will end Keith down to two cards in these... I mean, one card, and, I mean, that could be the game, maybe. We'll see. Uh, these ends always become a big deal here. So, we'll see Umbreon come up. We'll see a uh, 90 and 30 to probably the Shaman EX. And yep, 92 to 30 and 90 to 30. And let's see, what does Keith have here? Does he find a VS Seeker for a Fishman? He's got a Fighting Fury Belt. Um, he's got a Float Stone. And those are two cards you do not want to see. He'll Rough Seas, he'll 6 damage, 30 from the active and 30 from the bench. Uh, he can Float Stone the active. And this will put the pressure back on Ryan. If Ryan finds a VS Seeker, he can bring up the Shaman, win the game, and if he does not, well, Keith can just retreat to the other Volcano next and win this game. So does Ryan find a VS Seeker, and he does have a Lysander, bring up the Shaman X, and Ryan will take this game. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is game one or two. I uh, We started the video at the same time, but wow, that was crazy. I thought Ryan was about to lose it, but nope, he hit, had the Lysander hand, bring up that Shaman X, and hit it for 90 um plus 60 is what 150 which is the exact number wow yeah because the 90 plus 60 is 150 and then 140 plus the fear belt is 150 so yeah even though it was fear belted uh ryan still was able to hit the right numbers which is fantastic and i think this was game number one it definitely looked like it was really early i mean this could be game number two and they're shuffling up to game number three it's definitely one of those two options i'm like i said i'm not sure we started this at the same time unfortunately um later on we'll know for sure like we'll watch the videos we'll be like yep this is game two this is game three because the rest of the games are recorded a hundred percent of the game but both players are going to show up, up here and i do apologize like i said that it is skipping but i think it does fix itself later on um I just think it was like just busy and there's a lot of people in the Wi-Fi probably and just using it and stuff like that. But both players are going to set up buying seven new cards and let's see what is going to happen here. Um, can I mean, even though Keith knocked out Ryan's Vaporeon, it did not become a factor. Like, you know, Ryan's like, whatever, I'm still going to take a knockout. I'm still going to win this game. And there's the handshake and both players start with their tech kind of Pokemon. So Keith will start with the Staryu. And Ryan will start with his Oddish. Once again, I do love how there's like little cards art on the side of the uh, games and stuff. And we see what these cards do and the exact HP and their retreat cost. We see that Staryu does have that free tree, which I did not catch game or the last game. But then I was like, wow, that's actually really nice that Staryu has free retreat. So, we we'll see an Ultra Ball from Keith. This could find a Hoopa. You Scoundering search for three new EX Pokemon, uh, which is not a bad thing. Um, he could go straight Volcanion. He could go Shaman. There's a lot of different options he could choose from, and he is just going to grab a Volcanion X from the looks like it. Unless he... I, maybe he does play Hoopa. I'm not sure. Um, 
a good grab of Baby Volcano. He's got a Lysander, two VS Seekers, and something else in his hand. So his hand's not very optimal, but we'll see what he finds here. And uh, once again, I apologize that it's, it's skipping like this. So he's going to grab a Volcano, Touch of Fire, and just a pass. And this is not good for Keith. I mean... I mean, but Ryan's hand doesn't look very good either. There's a Vile Plume, Gloom, two Darks, a Sycamore, Umbreon, and a Lysander. You can see it pretty well with that Frozen Frame right there. So we see a Sycamore, then we see an Old Ball from Ryan discarding a Lily and a... It looks like maybe he wants to discard... Okay, nope, a Lysander. Okay. This can grab an Eevee, and then he can attach a Dark Energy to it, use the Energy Evolution, get an Umbreon G Axe out. But does he have a way to retreat the Oddish? Nope. Gonna grab a Shaman instead. Gonna try to set up, find a way to retreat the Oddish plus a Eevee. Now, if he could find an Eevee Floatstone, that would be amazing. What would be even more amazing if he finds like an Eevee Floatstone Revitalizer and a Forest of Giant Plants. Oh, he already has a Floatstone. All right, so he had a Floatstone Trainer Smell. Look at top cards of his deck. And he's got a Gloom, Vile Bloom, something else. And I think that was an N that he just flashed there. Now, he will have the Shaman. Will the Shaman find him an Eevee? If it will, he, if it does, he'll be able to Energy Evolution, get an Umbreon GX out, turn one, and use Strafe if he if he, so, if he wants to. So, Shaman, setting up for three new cards. One, two, and three. He does not find one, unfortunately. He does find two Force of Giant Plants, but outside of that, his hand is not very good. Now, he does have a DCE. He could put, put this on the bench, Shaman. And the next turn, Sky Return if he wants to do that. But nope, going to pass on a Keith's turn. Keith does find an Ult Ball. Going to discard a Lysander or a VS Seeker. And this will mostly grab a Shaman EX so he gets set up and try to find a Supporter card. Because, you know, right now, Keith didn't have anything. But we'll see Shaman set up for five new cards. And does he find a Supporter card? I don't think I see one, actually. I see a Baby Volcanion, a Flowstone, um... I mean, he can take a knockout this turn. No, he can't. Uh, he can he can uh, die ball for another Volcanian X, but uh, he won't be able to take a knockout this turn unless he has an Ultra Ball. But he already attached return. He had a, he had a Volcanian head in hand, uh, but I guess it doesn't take a knockout. Power Heater only have done forty, so I guess that's fine either way. So die ball finding the Volcanian X. We will see. Um, <laughs> Keith really doesn't have too many options. And we see a pass on to Ryan's turn. All right, so let's see. Ryan's going to put down Forest of Giant Plants and play an end to give both players a new hand of sex. Now, I mean, Keith didn't have anything, but Ryan didn't have anything either. And this would be a perfect chance for, like, Ryan to find a Revitalizer, find an Eevee, a Dark Energy, uh, get that out, and uh, maybe put the pressure on Keith for sure. And here we go. Both players are going to set up get six new cards. We see Ryan find an Ult Ball. He could discard a Jirachi and a whatever that card is, a Lily. Okay. He can grab an Eevee. He already has a Shaman in hand. So we'll see Eevee coming down. And he can Shaman set up, try to find a Dark Energy, find a Umbreon GX with the Energy Evolution. So we'll see a DC to the Shaman actually. And Shaman set up for six new cards. We see a Gloom Sycamore. And a Sycamore and a Trainer's Mill. And there's a Gloom, Trainer's Mill. Look at the top cards of his deck. And there is a Revitalizer. So he will be able to get a Vile Plume out this turn. Which is fantastic. He can slow down Keith. He can't use his Max Elixirs. He can't use, like, um, mainly just Max Elixirs is the key thing here. So we'll see Revitalizer get two Grass Pokemon. I have his Discard Pile. Uh, probably going to describe the Gloom and the Vile Plume for sure. Um, yep, there's Revitalizer. Get back to Gloom and Vile Plume. And he will have a turn to Vile Plume, if I remember correctly. Now, if you're Ryan, what do you do here? I mean, you go to Sky Return. But I guess you promote the other Shaman. I mean, he could get knocked out, right? I mean, that's a 100% possibility. I mean, Keith just has to find a Fire Energy Retreat and a Volcano Heat to blow it up. So let's see who decides to send up here. I mean, do you risk two price cards? Do you let your only Vile Plume get knocked out? I mean... Vile Plume knocks out is not too bad of a thing, but it is going to promote the Shaman EX. And we see Keith does have multiple Fire Energy. So a Volcano EX coming down. He's got a Fire Energy, Scorched Earth coming down. Use Scorched Earth, draw two new cards. Okay. He's got a Fire Energy attachment. And he'll probably just play Sycamore this turn to try to find a Ranger for next turn. Or maybe he'll just attack. I think you sick him more here to try to find a ranger for the next turn. Maybe try to find a baby Volcanian. And yep, we'll see a sick more. Discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. Now he does find a baby Volcanian. So you can put that down. And the next turn, 
go for a power heater. Uh, but nope, gonna see Volcano EX for the knockout. And on to Ryan's turn, can he find a Dark Energy as a force of Giant Plants coming down? He's got a Umbreon GX going to the bench. He does have a uh, Shaman in hand. He gets set up, I think, for one. And there's a Dark Energy, so he will be able to strafe this turn. But once again, who do you strafe to? And nope, just going to Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. He finds an Umbreon, an N, an Ultra Ball, and no other Pokemon. So Ryan has to make a decision. Who do you who do you strafe to? Uh, you're gonna strafe do thirty. Um, and I guess you're not gonna send anybody. You you may you don't have to. You may send a Pokemon. So on a Keys turn, he's got a Baby Volcanion, a Fear Belt, and a Fire Energy. A Fear Belt can't be attached right now. What I'm talking about, but there's a Rough Seas healing at thirty damage. We will see a Starmie coming down maybe an Escape Rope, which you can't play because Vileplume is in play right now. Okay. We see Ryan immediately catch it, like, no, no, you, you can't do that. Nah, I have Volcanion. I mean, I have a Valpum down. But I think if you're Keith here, I definitely think you put down the Volcanion. Nope. Gonna attach energy to Volcanion next, okay. And there's a Starmie coming down. And we'll probably see. You could Space Beak in here to discard a, a trainer card in your hand so you don't draw into it, which is really nice. You wouldn't go that route. But on a Riot's turn, he does have a DC in, uh, so he will be able to Shadow Bullet, but Keith will be able to attack this turn. Uh, now, Ryan does have a Lysander. He can bring up the Stormy, which, I mean, yeah, Ryan's going to take a knockout going out of five prize cards. But um, we will see. I don't think Ryan even used a Shadow Bullet to put 30 damage anywhere. Because um, he could have put. Okay, no, it went to Shaman. I'm, I'm blind. He, it did go on the Shaman EX. Alright, so Key's turn, he's got a Fighter G, but does he have three Fighter G? So Fighter to the bench, we'll see a Volcano Heat for 130. Alright. And on to Ryan's turn, gonna draw a card. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have too much at hand, so we'll see a Force of Giant Plants coming down. He has to find another Eevee this turn for sure. So we'll see it in. Uh, Keith will get four new cards, Ryan will get uh, five. Now, can Ryan find an Eevee plus a Dark Energy? Um. Or preferably two EVs. If he can find two energies and a dark energy, that'd be really nice because he could potentially get a Vaporeon down next turn. And there's a Vaporeon, and uh, he actually needed, drew one extra card, which is fine. Um, that's very fixable. But Ryan does not find anything. He doesn't find a Pokemon. He doesn't find a, a Tauros. He will be able to Shadow Bullet 90 to the active um, and 30 to the Shaman. Now he's going to use Dark Call GX and discard two energies off the active. All right, so there we go. Ryan will disrupt Keith just a little bit. And Keith doesn't have any energies to play. Uh, so this Dark Hall GX will actually be really crucial. Discard two energies off the active. And on a Ryan's turn, he can all of a sudden start using Shadow Bullet at 90 and 30 to Shaman. And put a lot of pressure on uh, Keith. So Keith's going to draw a card. Once again, can't do anything. On a Ryan's turn, uh, he's going to be able to take a knockout. Do 30 to that Shaman EX. Okay. And can, uh, so Ryan does find an Eevee finally, okay. So on a Keith's turn, going to top deck a VS Seeker, and that Dark Call GX slowed Keith down so much. I actually forgot about that GX, which is really nice. So double Eevees come on line, and we'll see another 90 and 30, and knock out the Shaman EX, and does Keith find anything? Does he find a Fire Energy? Take a knockout, and we see a Fear Belt, and Ryan will take this game 2-0. Oh my goodness. So Umbreon Valplume taking the 2-0 against the Volcanian EX stack. And guys, I'm excited to see the rest of this round. There are six rounds of the uh, Madison League Cup, so I'm excited to see what happens. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.